Domoic acid is a neurotoxin. It's produced by phytoplankton or the microscopic plants that are in the coastal waters and the open, and open ocean. So when they bloom, these phytoplankton, when they bloom and the population increases, then they cause a lot of hazards. And one of them is they can produce this neurotoxin, domoic acid. And domoic acid can actually bind to some of the receptors in the brain and can cause excitotoxicity. When you eat contaminated seafood is when you are exposed to domoic acid. If you are exposed to chronically to low levels, even below the regulatory limits, you can, you know, one of the impacts of uh, this neurotoxin is you can have memory loss, a short-term memory, and those things will be affected. But what in our research, we had an excellent graduate student a couple of years ago started this work in, the, in our group. And what she has shown is that, so we use zebrafish as a model to study some of these effects. So zebrafish are a very good model for developmental model. You can study what happens when the early life stages are exposed. So the concern here is that domoic acid, you know, anybody can be exposed, especially the, you know, pregnant women or older adults. So those are some of the vulnerable population, life stages when, when humans are exposed. For example, in, you know, when pregnant women are exposed, the fetus is exposed. So, but to understand some of those, you can use fish as a model system because you can, they, these fish are transparent. There are a lot of tools available that allow us to study individual changes in different cells in the brain as they develop. Yeah, I think current regulation is good, but I think we also need to take into consideration that these low levels of exposure can have effects. So I think we need to show more uh, in terms of what are the effects and, you know, I, I think definitely more regulation to control about these vulnerable life stages is very important. So, you know, older for older adults as well as, you know, children, uh, pregnant women. So there are these sensitive life stages that can be affected by any pollution, let alone uh, just uh, algal toxins.